Welcome uh, from me. Um, I can't add, I mean, Dennis and all of you in this room have contributed uh, to the enormous success of Voices from Oxford over the last 10 years, if we're celebrating an anniversary. Um, I was introduced by my predecessor Drummond to the impact that Voices from Oxford can have. Uh, listening to his farewell address, which Voices from Oxford very professionally produced, uh, and then instantaneously uh, being uh, approached by Sung Hee and by Dennis to use uh, Voices from Oxford as my introduction uh, to my new role myself. So I, I had a very early uh, introduction to Voices from Oxford and how powerful it can be. Um, I think the subject, Professor Chi, uh, with whom I had a long discussion uh, this morning about the nature, the nature of leadership in the modern world. But what strikes me from my leadership uh, experiences in government, in the third sector as the leader of a charity and now here at Balliol, is that interdisciplinarity is what is needed to solve our future problems. Um, when one looks back at the history of the university, the history of this college, uh, and you see how every subject um, was divided up into its own little uh, silo of uh, interest and uh, research, and never were there uh, debates, uh, apart from possibly across the Oxford High Table, uh, about interdisciplinarity. Um, and when I've been talking this term both to the new fresher graduates and the fresher undergraduates about what is the point of an Oxford College, um, well part of the point is that it's a community and part of the point is, is that it's a family uh, and part of the point is it's a place where they can feel, we hope, happy and secure and fulfil uh, their, their dreams. It's also a place where they can talk uh, to other students about the interdisciplinary problems that face us uh, in all realms of what we are now doing as human beings. And of course that's even more so when you look at the research programmes of the university as a whole, but the research carried out by fellows here. So this could not be a more appropriate subject, interdisciplinarity in the modern world. And I think, again, paying tribute to my predecessor, uh, the kinds of partnerships the university is now creating with the Chinese higher education system um, is also one of the ways we will solve the problems of the future. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce Professor Chi, um, who is going to talk to us about how we solve these interdisciplinary problems in the modern world. Professor Chi. Thank you. Thank you uh, for the introduction and uh, thanks for the invi invitation from Ox uh, Voice from Oxford. I'm very, very happy to be here uh, because I have been here several times and uh, I have several very uh, good friends here and like uh, William, we have discussed about some ideas, especially the five pillars financial model for XJTIU. He asked me what's the financial model of XJTIU to keep XJTIU to run sustainably. I told him that's a secret of our <laughs> university <laughs> many years ago. <laughs> Actually, uh, I think it's a right place to ta discuss about interdisciplinary uh, education or leadership here because uh, Oxford is a place uh, to carry out the interdisciplinary research and the dialogue. Uh, Actually, last night I, when I discussed with uh, then is about uh, three books I read. One is his book, uh, The Music of Life. And another book is Mismatch. And the third book is The, uh, the Firm Commitment, uh, written by uh, Colin Muir. I think th th these three books uh, describe about the phenomena uh, in different fields, but they have a similar philosophy background. Uh, that's uh, uh, one uh, related to a uh, new topic is mindset, how for us to upgrade our mindset from the tradi traditional one to a, a modern one. So today I want to share some ideas about uh, education, how for us to train the people who, have, who should have the complexity mindset to face a future challenge. So, that's a, so I use a little bit different title uh, for my uh, talk, uh, it's not uh, interdisciplinary, I use a integrative education in the modern world. The integrative integration is a new word created by a Germany people, uh, the Malik. 
uh, by the two English words. One is signature, another one is integration. So I like this word. So I changed a little bit about the integrative education in the modern world, exploration in higher education in China. Perhaps many people have known uh, this research. Uh, that's uh, uh, the research carried out in, in, in MIT to test uh, the mind activity of the students. And uh, they test uh, one whole week and 24 hours and uh, to find, you know, sometimes the students are very active, there. sometimes the students are very relaxed. But look at the relaxed, uh, the most of them are conventional class. <laughs> that's that's a, that's a modern <laughs> world. So the student, you know, in the modern world, we have many uh, channels for the student to find the knowledge. But the traditional university is a place to teach student knowledge. Mm -hmm. So students use their mind in library works, homework, exam, study, even dreaming. That's 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 a place. But the university always pays serious attention to conventional, uh, to formal studies, not to informal studies. So that's uh, one research carried out in I, I, I MIT. I, I think uh, certainly uh, in Oxford, the situation is quite different. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. But in China, even worse than this one, because Chinese students are passive learner. Uh, they you know, uh, for the classroom, the teachers divide one textbook into many knowledge points, and each classroom, cl each, each lecture teaching one or two knowledge points. Students remember knowledge points and then get high mark during the examination and then forgot the knowledge points. Mm -hmm. The only thing they got is, is the credits. And the so it's time for us to reflect what's the value of education in the modern world. Uh, traditionally, I think the university and the education was afraid of ignorance. So the main purpose is to teach knowledge to students. But now, I think the situation has been changed a lot. Uh, in Chinese context, as a metaphor, as a, as a sponge, uh, to let students absorb as much as possible knowledge. So certainly the teaching way is, uh, is a feeling. But now we are living in a modern world. We have perhaps too much knowledge to absorb or to collect. So what's the way for the modern education? So I think that's a, that's a question uh, for us to answer. Uh, certainly here I use this one to instead of this one. That's a teacher's dominant education. Here students is mm. at the center. Uh, university creates uh, uh, the, the environment and the delivers resources for students to study. And the teachers are the mentor or guide to help students to study. But the students, it's easy to become, become a balloon. Almost know everything. If through the Google, through uh, uh, Baidu in China, and to get the answer to their question. But uh, easy to become a shallow man. How far us to change this one? So it's, uh, a, we, we do need to think what's the right education for us to help the students uh, from a sponge. <coughs> you know, sponge is easy to be replaced by memory chips. <laughs> but the balloon is not the, the, the talent the, in, the mo in the modern complex, complex world. So we do need to find the right way to change the balloon to, uh, to help the students to develop their intellectual depths, intellectual width, and the intellectual height. I think that's a question for, for our educators uh, to, to, to develop solution to future education. Uh, so look at the world, a uh, very uncertainty world. Uh, so we, ha we are facing globalization. We are facing uh, <coughs> multiple uh, cultural context. We are facing a, a, a revolution of uh, connectiveness. Uh, we are facing uncertainty, ambiguity, uh, complexity, and the changeability. So what kind of people uh, does this world need? So I think that's a question, also a question for the educators. So uh, I think it's, uh, it's easy to understand that, uh, in the future. We do need to train the people to be a global player. And uh, certainly in order to understand what's the uh, unique features for the future global uh, player, 
we do need uh, to understand uh, about the future world. Uh, I, I think it's not necessary for me to, to give more information about this one. Here I only list few uh, features of the future society uh, developed by the Future Institute. And uh, simply thinking about the talents, at least uh, the, the future students should develop their cross-cultural leadership because they are living in a globalized world. And uh, uh, another one is a uh, complex mindset. I think that's one that's uh, more critical uh, for the future people uh, because we are living in a very complex uh, world. Uh, we it's not easy to deal with the challenges uh, through the Western mind or Eastern mind. Perhaps it's necessary for us to combine the Western and Eastern wisdom to create a new mindset to face the challenge. Uh, another one perhaps is integrative thinking. Uh, I think uh, uh, the last one is a change management. At least I think uh, the four points are critical for the future talent. How for us to train the people to have such kind of unique features for the future. I think that's why we do need to reshape the education, uh, redefine university. Uh, certainly, uh, Oxford is a very traditional uh, elite education system. Uh, we need to change the Oxford, but we do need to change many Chinese universities. So that's my understanding. So our university was created in this era. Uh, by two universities, one from uh, univers UK, uh, University of Liverpool, one from China, Xi'an Jiao Tong Liverpool University. Uh, so our purpose is to, to develop some kind of new education to help the young guys to be a global player. So our philosophy is that uh, we don't want to copy a traditional uh, university, uh, and we don't want to copy a traditional Chinese university. Uh, certainly, we do need uh, to learn the knowledge uh, about culture. Uh, here, I list uh, three uh, core essence of the Western culture and the Western best practice. Uh, here, uh, two uh, uh, key points of the Eastern culture, art and uh, morality. And certainly, in China, we have the best practice, too. So our purpose is to combine the best practice in the world to develop a new education model according to future trends and the challenges. So when we develop this university, we are trying to develop a solution for future education. So we pay serious attention uh, to our four expectations. The one is to explore what's the new education model in future, and uh, secondly, uh, because I'm a professor of management, I'm not satisfied with the uh, organization system used by many universities in the modern world. Uh, because from my observation, most of the universities are still use a uh, uh, hierarchical uh, bureaucratic system to support the knowledge organization. Uh, actually, uh, in last century, the, the, the guru of management, uh, Peter Drug, has indicated in the 21st century, it would be a great challenge to him be, that is, to improve the efficiency of knowledge work and the knowledge organization. So I'm trying to use this new university to test what's, what's, what's a new operation system or organization system to which could be used to help the efficiency of knowledge work and the knowledge organization. So that's the second purpose for us. The third one, uh, I think it's a uh, time for us to rethinking what's what's the relationship between university and the society. So that's the uh, three uh, expectations we, we we have had in uh, when we created this new university. And the, the fourth one, we are trying to use the uh, three perspectives exploration to help the higher education reformation in China, even beyond. So that's uh, our uh, originally. Uh, idea to develop this new university. So after 10 years development, we have developed uh, one educational model. I think that's a traditional education model, but we have made some improvement on this education model. I think uh, most of the education model is to develop the professional elites for the, w for the, for the society. Uh, no matter what the career plan is, the students have to choose one major to study.
And after the graduation, they found it's not easy for them to find a good job because <coughs> their training uh, was not uh, fit into the demand. So that's a problem. So we have made some innovations on the currently education model adopted by most of the universities. And secondly, we have developed a very flat networking organization in, in our university. Uh, we, we keep two levels, uh, the departments and the university level. Uh, we don't want to create many schools or colleg colleges. Uh, we do the purpose is to avoid the, the silos. Uh, so we develop a university platform to let all the departments, students, academic staff to carry out their research, learn, teaching process on this platform. The last one, uh, the third one is that we have developed open campus. Uh, it, it, it perhaps you know when you visit China, you could find almost every university have a very thick wall isolated from the society. Our university has no wall. Uh, I think the key issue is that you needn't uh, war psychologically. I think that's more important for this one. So we have developed open campus and uh, a strong collaboration with the local society. Uh, last one, we have developed an institute to, to, uh, to disseminate our practice and the best practice collected in the world to help other Chinese institutions to change their education attitude and uh, method. Uh, actually, uh, now every year, more than 100 universities send more than 1,000 teachers, leaders to our campus to attend the training program uh, in Suzhou. Uh, so that's, a, 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 a f I call it version 1.0 of our university uh, in we developed in the last 10 years. Look forward, in another 10 years, we are trying to develop a version 2.0. Uh, so the first is integrative education. I will give a brief introduction later. And uh, secondly, we will test what's the future new concept about education, about the university, about the campus. We will develop a big new campus to test three things, integrative education and the new concept of university and the campus. Uh, this new campus is bigger than our current one. Our on our current campus, we have had 15,000 students, including undergraduate students, uh, over 1,000 international students came from more than 70 countries, and the PG, uh, PG students and the PhD students. Uh, in another new campus, we we'll only want to develop a small number of students, but test these three things. Uh, so that's uh, our plan. The, the last one, we will cooperate with the government and the company to develop some New, dis new community to test, uh, to develop some solution to the future problems. And last one, we will strengthen our uh, educational uh, dis dissemination uh, platform to help more universities and educators. So that's uh, our version 2.0. Uh, so finally, I will give a brief introduction about uh, the integrative education. Uh, globalization is easy. Uh, to see uh, uh, even now there are some uh, anti-globalized uh, activities uh, like uh, Trump. And, uh, tomorrow uh, <laughs> is a critical day for Trump. <laughs> but uh, I think it's uh, in terms of the connectedness and the digital world, uh, it's <coughs> very difficult to, uh, un to, to, to develop the anti-globalization strategy to face the future. So globalization should be the trend, and we do need to play, to, to train a global player. I use this picture, turbulent environment and mad business. We do need to train the people who could uh, lead a business in this environment. What's, what's, what's uh, unique features for these people? Certainly in future, I think it's, uh, it's very important especially after the revolution of artificial intelligence and the robots. People should, have, should be trained in the general or liberal arts education more than now. And uh, we do need uh, some specialist uh, for him being to develop uh, new knowledge or new technology. Uh, certainly, uh, we, we, we need uh, some people.
to be a specialized Alice. But we need more people to have adaptable skill set, innovative thinking, knowledge for the new and the transforming industries. In the future, we will have more and more new industries. But we need a su such kind of knowledge for the new industries. And we also need a cross-cultural leadership. We need uh, entrepreneurship. So we need more people, perhaps than this one, more people to be uh, allies or leaders for the new industries. But look at our currently education model, which couldn't <coughs> uh, strongly support the training of this kind of people. So we will develop a new education model to train this kind of people. The students should have a solid moral foundation and they should have some specialized knowledge. But more important, they should know the whole industry and could integrate the resources from different sectors and also strong in leadership and entrepreneurship. So that's uh, uh, what we call integrative education. We are trying to combine the different parts together to form a new education system. Uh, the theoretical uh, framework is that that's current education, uh, disciplinary education. Uh, students were trained in this way. But when students enter the market, they found their lack of uh, you know, interdisciplinary skills or training. So many universities have developed interdisciplinary training and education. But uh, I have mentioned for the top industry elites, we do need uh, such kind of people. That means they, are, they need to be uh, trained in many new perspectives, such as uh, entrepreneurship, leading, communicating, innovating, collaborating. And then they could be uh, uh, international high-end applied talents, or elites, or new leaders for the new industries. So look at this education. Uh, disciplinary education, interdisciplinary education, and uh, some education process uh, go through the interdisciplinary education. That's a three ways education. So we call this one uh, a integrative education. Uh, certainly, uh, no matter what kind of education in future, general education or liberal arts education should be in in intensified or highlighted. I think that's our understanding about the future education. So in order to de develop such kind of education, uh, integrative education here, uh, certainly we still need uh, these kinds of education, but we'll develop new education for this part. Uh, it's first, it's very important for us to understand uh, the qualification framework. What's the uh, what's, uh, uh, curriculum we should, be, uh, uh, we, we should develop for the future talent? Uh, actually, we have designed some new curriculum <coughs> here. And uh, secondly, uh, it's critical for us to change the educational process to use a new technology or new learn teaching uh, way to help the student to learn, to be trained, to grow up quickly. So here I list uh, some modern uh, uh, technologies. The third one is a new environment. I think Oxford's environment, from my understanding, is, is, uh, is to train the specialized elite, very good way to train the specialized elite. But perhaps we do need to develop some new way to train the industry leaders. So here, we do need a campus, a new campus, new environment of to help the development. So we are designing a new campus according to the understanding or our understanding about future university, future education. So here is uh, uh, several uh, features we, 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 we we shared with uh, designing companies. Uh, currently, we invite uh, six world leading companies, uh, top 30, uh, to design the new campus. Uh, actually, two days ago, I, we got the six uh, designs. Uh, we have chosen three from six. Uh, next week, we'll choose one from the three, and we'll start the construction next, next year, early of next year, and we will finish the new com campus two years later. Uh, that means uh, we'll open the new campus in 2021. Mm. So, so the new campus should uh, have the future 
I think I like these words, symbiosis and sharing, high tech, especially an ecosystem. So how for us to develop ecosystem for the future education? That's uh, uh, our understanding. Uh, third, it's uh, very important for us to develop a new business model to support the, the university. So here you can look at the, the new idea to develop the future university. University, companies, business, industry, and the society should be more uh, integrated, more closely, or organically. So that's our uh, purpose. So here, why, what's the uh, integration? Uh, integration uh, has been, uh, could be uh, described by three perspectives. One is a combination for different kind of education, general education or liberal arts education, uh, discipline education, business education, management education. Certainly we include the man, uh, entrepreneurial training and uh, leadership in management. And we also need to integrate learning, internship, on-the-job training, uh, you know, staff makers. Uh, and also we are trying to combine the society, business, companies, university together. So in this campus, we'll, it, we'll combine, we'll invite many world leading companies to cooperate with university to develop several industry schools. In this campus, there is no department. There is no business school. There is no uh, uh, engineering school. There is no technology school. Only have industry schools. And all the industry schools was, uh, would be developed cooperatively by university and the company. And uh, finally, through this integration, we can generate value added and then sharing by the internet and by social networking. So that's our, that's uh, the, the planning. Uh, we will develop a uh, six rings combined uh, campus. At the center, we will develop a uh, learning mall and the digital resources center. And outside of the learning mall, we will develop <coughs> many innovation factories uh, according to the schools and the local uh, industries. And then the third ring is to develop research and development community. That means each school will have uh, research and the develop institute. But at the same time, we will, we will invite the local companies to develop their research and the develop centers at the campus to use our learning more, to use our innovation factories. So that's why we call it community of research and the development institutes. And then in future, it would be critical to pay attention to the security, to the auto system combined by him being and the machine. So we will develop a standard and IP uh, quality accreditation platform to support the standard development uh, by the support of the world leading companies. Uh, we will cooperate with a German company to develop this one. The fifth ring is entrepreneurship and the enterprises harbor. That means give students opportunity to integrate the knowledge capabilities they have learned and developed to develop business uh, or uh, to be involved in a business developing process. Uh, last one is a bridge between university and society. We will develop <coughs> alliance of industry and the society to uh, transform the problems or challenges the business are facing to the campus and then transform the Tra transfer the, the, the people, the technology, the solutions or business model to the society. So that's a, that's a five rings platform and then we develop several uh, schools here. Uh, uh, we have signed a contract with several uh, industry companies to develop a few schools, for example artificial intelligence and advanced uh, computing, intelligent robotics, uh, internet of things, Cultural technology, why? Because in future, Chinese will be an uh, aging society. Uh, people have more pleasure time, and uh, uh, cultural art, arts should be a very important industry. But we don't want to develop the uh, purely cultural and art industry. We will use university technology to support the future art and the technology. So we call it cultural, cultural uh, technology. Uh, we will develop uh, industry, uh, internet, and the finance, and also intelligent 
uh, manufacture uh, ecosystem. We have finalized uh, six industry schools already, and we are currently discussing with uh, several uh, big companies about uh, mega health and uh, urbanization and the construction. That's uh, our current plan. So the purpose, the way for us to develop future talents is to combine the five perspectives together. Learning teaching, that's a traditional one, but uh, use a new way. And R&D uh, research and business study and integrate industry experience. That's a t job on the job tailored uh, training, entrepreneurial practice, and then business development by collaboration with uh, companies and the local society. That's a integrative education. And then we have uh, three models of the integrative education. One is on our current campus. Because our current campus is to train specialized elites. But uh, if the student want to be a very uh, high level uh, special elites, they have to understand better about the background of their industry. So we will develop industry company tailored education to help the specialized students to get more industry background and uh, the capability trained by the collaboration between university and the industry. That's a, 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 a change for our currently uh, specialized elite education. We will develop new campus, I just mentioned. New campus, we call it Entrepreneur College. Uh, we will develop industry uh, schools. And the last one, we will cooper with, cooperate with uh, several government to develop several new communities. Uh, for example, Wen Yin Xi'an, uh, my hometown, and Wen Yin Jiangsu. Uh, uh, the way is that university would be a driver, and the local government is a, is a supporter. And we will cooperate with companies to develop islands, and then finally use the market mechanism to develop the community, to test some uh, solutions for the, uh, the social problems. Our university is certainly is, is, is pay serious attention to online education and the offline education. Main purpose is to develop a integrative learning research environment. And then on this platform, we will have two education models. Uh, one is in our currently uh, campus in Sojo uh, to develop the Alice for uh, uh, disciplinary Alice. Uh, with international intellectual uh, with and the intellectual depth and the intellectual height. And we'll develop a new campus uh, to test the integrative education. The purpose is to train the industry elites uh, with uh, uh, you know, uh, disciplinary skills, uh, business knowledge, and also uh, leadership and management. That's two education models. And th when the student enter the university, students will have one or more years to understand better about themselves and the future development. And then they can make a decision to stay in this campus or to go other campus. Uh, after one or two years studies, perhaps they have, they changed their mind. That's okay, they can come back. Uh, so that's a uh, future education. Uh, actually, at TIU, we'll develop uh, two education models and we promote research led education to keep students' curiosity, to help students train the critical thinking, creative, creative behavior, complex mindset, and the lifelong learning. Uh, in this way, I think we could help the young guys to adapt to the future society. So that's our understanding uh, of the edu future education. So uh, actually, TIU is trying to play, uh, s to make some humble contribution to the higher education. The first one is to develop innovative education for the current education model. Uh, that is uh, specialized education. And another one, create a integrative education model uh, for the future. And the third one, uh, we will test uh, some new ideas about the future university and the future campus. Finally, we will leverage the resources and the knowledge to create new communities that address uh, global challenges. So that's uh, four missions or four possible contributions XJTIU could make. So uh, that's our current campus. Uh, that's uh, 
I think uh, Dennis have have been here, uh, give a lecture, and uh, Dr. Kim have been here. Uh, we just uh, finished the the new campus here, and uh, here we develop a uh, indoor gym, and here we a uh, one new building uh, for the film and the TV school uh, is developing. Uh, next year, uh, the whole campus uh, should be ready. That's uh, uh, our Suzhou campus. Uh, that's a tunnel between two univer uh, two campuses. That's and uh, that's a new uh, indoor gym. That's a new film and the TV schools. But uh, for the new campus, I have uh, had the picture already. But uh, uh, because it's still in the building process, <laughs> building process, <laughs> building process <laughs> I couldn't share the new uh, new campus. That's Suzhou. Welcome to Suzhou. I know you will be Suzhou. Some of you will be Suzhou. Uh, to 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 attend the opening ceremony uh, of the Oscar, uh, developed uh, by uh, by uh, our Oxford colleague, especially uh, Professor Cui. So I will attend the opening ceremony in Suzhou. Uh, Suzhou, beautiful city. <laughs> so thank you.